And as always, it is a pleasure being with you each and every morning. Uh, from wherever you're watching us from, thank you very much for being part of this conversation. If at all you're just joining us, this is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko. You're just in time for the next conversation of the day. And it's all about matters concerning cancer. And on this particular conversation, I shall be joined, uh, I am joined by Moses Omondi. Now, he has a very interesting story. He's a born cancer survivor. He's a youth, of course. And I'm a team member for the uh, Global Week for Action on Non-Communicable -commun Diseases uh, right here in Kenya. Bona uh, Moses. Yes. Karibu sana. Asante. You're well. I'm good. Uh, thank you for, for finding time to join me this morning. Thank you. And as always, we appreciate your feedback from wherever you're watching us from. The hashtag, as always, is why in the morning. At Ram Maguko is where you can find me. At Michelle Ashira, my colleagues handle. The station handle is at Y254 channel. The hashtag, as always, is why in the morning. Head over to Facebook also if at all you'd like to be part of this conversation and drop in your comments on the comment section or because we've made a post there on Facebook uh, on the comment section below regardless of what have, whatever has been posted there just be part of this conversation remember we shall sample your feedback as you continue you know with this particular uh, program it is matters health now um, Moses yes. um, before we we, we talk on uh, um, uh, we talk a lot uh, and touch base on so much uh, tell us about what you do and I'm really interested in getting to know your story also. How did it all start? It's quite interesting because it is in the year 2014. Yeah. Well in form two. two. Yeah. That he was told that, hey, you know what? You've got cancer. Imagine if it was you. <laughs> okay, finally. Moses. Yes. Tell us. Okay. For what I do, I work at uh, Non-Communicable Disease Alliance of Kenya. Uh -huh. It's an umbrella organization for the groups that uh, deal with an uncommunicable disease. Mm -hmm. So uh, like we host uh, cancers, diabetes, they're all under non-communicable disease, mm -hmm. Alliance of Kenya. Okay. And uh, I'm part of the team there. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, mm -hmm. for, this, uh, for this month, we have uh, like an activity. Mm -hmm. uh, it's called a uh, Global Week of Action mm -hmm. that uh, we've been planning. And uh, for my story, I can say that I was diagnosed back in 2014, mm. while well, I uh, was still at a young age, yeah. still in high school. So I had a lot of questions, mm. like, uh, why me? You know, at mm. such a young age, you have this disease that uh, at the back of your mind. All along, I knew that uh, this was a disease for the rich, you know. Yeah. So That's what you believe? Yeah, that's what I used to believe back but, then. But, but cancer is a disease cancer for the rich? Is, uh, yeah, yeah. So I was wondering, like, why me? Mm. I had a lot of questions. Uh, and back, back then, uh, I was under the care of my parents, so I used to go with my father for clinics. So all the information was passed through him. So if, if, if I get you right, you're in Form 2? Bo boarding or, or, or...? It was a day school. A day school. Uh, Roraka High School. And how exactly uh, did you get that information? Uh, tests were being done in school. Uh, what what led to you actually getting such kind of a diagnosis? Okay, at first uh, it just started like a simple pain around the near sharp pain. So one day uh, while at this assembly, mm. uh, I fainted, and then uh, I was uh, taken to a hospital, mm. and uh, X-ray was done. From there is when I was referred to. Kiambu Hospital, then to Kenyatta, a long process. And uh, when the doctor saw the results, mm. uh, a biopsy test was done, just to know, like, uh, to be sure what was going on. Mm. Uh, it took like a month. And then when they- To get the results. To get the results. So I was in the hospital and then discharged. By then I was at Kenyatta Hospital, and then uh, discharged and then uh, I went back for the results, mm -hmm. and uh, ne now there is when the news was broken to us. I was with my father, and I were told that uh, your son has cancer, and uh, the only solution here is amputation because the swelling was big. So, uh, Moses, you, yes. you, uh, at what part of the D did you feel that sharp pain? Okay, the like the front, the front, the front part, part of the but, knee. but uh, it used to affect the whole knee. So the so bo bo both legs, uh, the right the, leg, the, the right side. Yeah. So it used to swell, and uh, the knee used to get. Uh, 
fupi yeah. the swelling inakuwa kubwa and the knee gets short so, uh, so it used to suck the blood in the body and okay. the swelling mm -hmm. continues being big like so that. when you say in a fupi in terms of the the length from uh, uh, yeah. from your hip to to your toe yeah in terms of the length because uh, now the all the masses all the like the skin mm. it'll go in a stretch so when it stretches outside mm. it comes in a kuja in a kuwa fupi so some gumoje toko fupi kuliko ingine yeah it reached a point that i couldn't even walk so i used to like my father akan jengia like a crutch that i used to walk around with because uh, the right knee i couldn't even go to the now this was before you went to hospital yeah and meanwhile um did, did how how was the reception especially from uh, y your father and uh, you know your relatives friends and family upon such news how was it okay i can say that uh, they were very supportive especially mm. my family because they were there with me the whole journey yeah. my mother used to work at uh, work in westlands so she used maybe to sacrifice her time on a daily basis to come and see me mm -hmm. in the hospital same with my father and uh, so my father took the initiative of uh, caring for me uh, going to the hospitals the clinics all those it was my father who did that so i can say that the support was uh, great because my siblings were still in high, in high school so they used to come during the weekends maybe on saturdays and, and sundays you you, you mm. and your siblings were all in high school and then uh, you, 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 I'm, you, you, I'm the third born you're the third one yeah, i'm the third third one. a family of uh, six mm -hmm. so the elder brother and they'll come shule but uh, from our second born uh i think he was in form four i was in form two mm -hmm. and the others were behind me oh so the only time that uh, they could come was uh, during the weekend mm. but uh, they were supportive very very supportive okay. same uh, with uh, my colleagues my friends from school Mm -hmm. and uh, the teachers uh, they were very very supportive because they used to come during the weekend also and just see me even after i was discharged mm -hmm. and uh, i went home they still continued coming just visiting yeah giving me that uh, moral support and how was it for you getting such kind of information especially at, at that point when you were told that they have to uh, amputate your legs um did you expect that kind of uh, information concerning you know in, in a fura in a in a shrink in a fura in a, in a shrink and uh, at what point did you get the information was it when you were uh, admitted while you're still in the hospital bed okay at first i went and uh, when i was admitted mm -hmm. they did the biopsy test and yeah. uh, the doctor told us that uh, the results will take a while mm -hmm. so we don't want your, your hospital bill to pile so oh. we'll just discharge you go home mm -hmm. and uh, when the results are out you, you can you come, come back, back. yeah so, so you, you're not fully admitted i was not uh, like fully i was admitted for like a three months mm -hmm. the results were uh, the biopsy test was done uh -huh. and then i was discharged okay. and then i went back so when uh, i got the results is when i was uh in the hospital mm. uh, there is when uh, the results were given to us mm -hmm. it was a uh, shocking news you know mm at such a young age being told that uh, you are diagnosed with cancer mm. bone cancer i'm so sure all, all all sorts of things were running through your mind through my mind i was uh, depressed i started crying so my dad is the one who came and uh, talked to me and told me that uh, this is not the end of life you know it's just the start mm -hmm. the important thing mm -hmm. is that uh, you are uh, you'll be alive and uh, for something like a leg or a, an arm you can get a prosthetic you'll be okay so just go through it Mm -hmm. And uh, this is when I, I got the courage and I went through the operation. Because I'm sure coping up was difficult. Very, very difficult. Because all your life you've been used to living in a particular way. But now you have to adapt and change. Yeah. How was it coping? It was uh, very, very difficult. In fact, uh, after amputation and I was okay, I went back to school. A school where uh, you are the only person who is amputated the others are okay you see now the challenge there you walk in this corridor someone is looking at you like mm. they're wondering what is happening yeah. so it was very very stressful and uh, depressing but uh, as time goes went by as time went by i got used to it and uh, 
my classmates, they were there, they were supportive, they used mm -hmm. to help me talk to me, you know, the moral support. And uh, that is what got me through that. You know, for many, they go through stigmatization. You know, the stigma that, that is there. Everyone looks at you and, and you, you know, you walk, you, you walk through town, you, you, you go to class, you, the teachers, the, 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 your fellow students, there's a way they look at you. Yeah. And I, I don't know how, if that was true for your case. They, they look at you and, 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 and you can be able to read, it's like they're, they're, they're talking they're through talking their eyes. They're talking through their eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've, been exp I've experienced that. Uh, it was very, very difficult, but... Yeah. Uh, the good thing is uh, I accepted myself. That's the first step. Uh -huh. If you accept yourself, is when others will accept you. And but uh -huh. if you don't accept yourself, mm. you'll be depressed. And you know, for many who are watching, there are some who, are, uh, who, who have cancer and are watching you today. What would you tell them? Um, regardless of the environmental factors because for you it 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 it, uh, it was good that you had parents who were supportive yeah. and you had friends who were supportive but there is someone there who doesn't have any of the, the two true and uh first i can say that uh maybe it was a blessing for me to get this cancer and you that's see it why a blessing. i am here today uh -huh. to give hope to someone wow. else out there you know wow. so what i can say is that uh, just be strong Mm. Be strong. Uh, cancer is not a death sentence. Uh, just be strong. Have that courage. Talk to someone. You know, uh, if you are able, just join a support group because that is what worked for me. Mm. I joined uh, several support groups that uh, we used to talk, share your story. You know, the moment that you share your story is when you feel relieved. Mm. You let everything out. Wow. And uh, if you share your story and there is someone else there mm. with the same story or, or worse than yours, mm -hmm. you will feel like uh, mine is nothing. Yeah, you know? And you'll yeah, get that yeah. hope and you'll be like, just share, just open up, mm -hmm. talk to someone. And that's why uh, we talk about uh, these NCDs. Mm. Just talk to someone. Uh, like uh, for mental health cases, mm. people are depressed, people are dying. Uh, if you can just find someone to talk to, mm -hmm have a conversation with open up mm -hmm. everything will be okay now um and that's what we're having this week and that's why we have this week so uh, what is this week what exactly are we planning for uh this week what are, what should we be, we be looking out okay, for this week we'll be celebrating like a, it's a global week for action on ncds it just says uh mm. on its uh, own global week for mm -hmm. action on ncds mm -hmm. like uh, it's a global event mm -hmm. that uh there's there will be a lot of action mm and uh, activities. What, so, what, what activities do, do, should we be looking so out for, for here? For Global League of Action, it's mm. all about uh, uh, re trying to reduce the burden of NCDs globally. Those are non-communicable disease and increase health and equality. So for okay. this week, we have like uh, several events. We'll be having like the radio interviews, TV interviews, just talking about the week. Mm. And also we have, uh, we'll be having a webinar on 9th Mm -hmm. So that is the ninth of uh, ninth September of this, this week. Yeah, uh, this week on mm -hmm. ninth, mm -hmm. that will be on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. So people can join us on that. If you want more information, log on to our social media pages. Mm -hmm. That is uh, NCD Alliance mm -hmm. all across the, the social media pages. Mm -hmm. And uh, for Global Week of Action, we have something called a Voice of Change. What is that? Voice of Change is uh, you go there. You, like uh, you express what you want the government to do for you or what you want to see changing. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we have a competition on that. So you just go log on to actonncds.org and uh, just express what you feel about non-communicable An disease. Anybody can, can, anybody can, can, can do can it. Join. Uh -huh. You can just express, you can just have your voice of change there. And uh, for that you can take a screenshot and share all along your social media handles mm -hmm. and uh, there's uh, something good at the end of that so uh, it, it's all about getting the information out there it's, yeah you know every, every everyone coming uh, to just talk about the same thing None from their different different perspectives. perspectives globally globally yeah so it's a global event it's a global event non-communicable disease and lens of Kenya uh, is part of that mm -hmm. so it's a GWA Global Week of mm -hmm. for action, action on NCDs. Now, um, I, as we wrap this conversation up, I would like you to uh, uh, speak to that Kenyan youth who is watching you today in regards to 
all of this, just in a nutshell. Uh, I know that uh, you've been actively involved in sensitization, especially in regards to cancer. And uh, this is something good that we are expecting this week. So um, have, within just 30 seconds, have a final word. OK. My final word, I can say that uh, to a Ken Kenyan youth, mm. uh, now it's tough. Uh, NC NCDs are uh, on a rise. So just take care of yourself. Be active. Uh, just do a lot of exercise. Watch your diet. Because those are some of the risk factors for NCDs, being inactive, uh, ex excessive consumption of uh, alcohol and tobacco, you know. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. let's be active, mm -hmm. let's uh, watch our diet, mm -hmm. and uh, together we can reduce the burden of NCDs in Kenya because no action is small and no action is big. You know, it's quite interesting what you said, what you said there. People don't know such uh, how, how their lifestyle can actually affect their overall welfare yeah. yeah you know your health is your number one office if you're not okay <laughs> you can't do anything what's oh, your health wonderful uh if you're a healthy nation mm -hmm. Things. Healthy people is a healthy nation. A healthy people is a healthy, healthy nation. Yeah. Moses, thank you so much for finding that journey. Thank and you. I'm sure there's so much that you've not touched on, but I wish you the best. Whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Thank you. You know, um, at the end of the day, we are reaching out to so many people out there, and we are changing the perspectives, the mindsets, the stigma, the fear, and the panic that is outside there. We are bringing that influence. So keep it up. Thank you so much. Thank and uh, if you want more information on that, just mm -hmm. uh, go on our social media pages, yeah. NCD Alliance. Mm -hmm. uh, Twitter is uh, NCD Alliance Kenya, Facebook, NCD Alliance 2013, mm -hmm. and uh, Twitter is uh, NCD Alliance. NCD Alliance. You'll get all you need. Mm. I, I, and are you on social media? Yeah. How uh, can you find it? I'm on social media. Facebook mm -hmm. is Moses Moses. Mm -hmm. For Twitter is uh, Moses Omondi 01. Wonderful. And uh, for IG is Moses Omondi underscore. Understand. Yes. Asana, Thank you so much. God bless you for coming. I appreciate it. Caribou. That brings us to the end of this conversation on this particular uh, con uh, uh, you know, issue on uh, cancer awareness. Head over to their handles, as they have said, and their website, and uh, follow. Catch up with the conversation. Join in this particular event. Let us create awareness. Thank you so much for being part of the conversation. Keep it going on our Twitter handle. The hashtag is on in the morning at Ram Maguko and that Y254 channel. We still have more in store for you. Meanwhile, we're taking a short break. We'll be back in a bit. This is Y in the morning.